Hi everyone, this is Lena from Trading Edge. I just woke up and I saw that Bitcoin smashed through the resistance of 71,000. I managed to remove my sell limit order which was for 71,100 and I, I moved it to 72,860 to see what happens. If it continues pushing upwards, I will move it higher. So, um, despite all of this uh, bullish impression is uh, that uh, uh, today or tomorrow I really do expect that finally Bitcoin will reverse on a bear trend. So, this part is not going to last forever. I saw it in the news now, the ETF uh, people are saying that Bitcoin is a long-term investment when that happens when it becomes the news that is the sell time that means that they're preparing to be dumping their etfs and that's why they're leading people on saying that they kind of uh, planning to keep the etfs long term that is not going to happen they're not planning to keep the etfs long term okay so what is happening in the astro uh, world is uh, that uh, tomorrow 12th of march we've got it as a red candle because we have uh, several new bearish variables entering the picture the main one of which is that mercury starts slowing down the speed of mercury tomorrow will be much slower uh, than today and much slower than what it has been in the past and when mercury slows down that actually brings suppression of the prices there is no oomph to keep pushing higher and higher and also when mercury slows down mercury is the planet of trading so when mercury slows down in speed it actually means that the volume reduces so uh, i really I know I have been uh, making two predictions before. First, I said that it will be the 5th of March to be the bear reversal. And uh, that panned out okay in the sense that we did get a big red candle on the 5th of March. However, uh, it didn't materialize as a bear reversal because... Uh, it got uh, surpassed after that on the 8th of March. It ended up as a So the 5th of March looked like a very good date for a bear reversal. By the way, I had forecasted that two weeks before. So with the vision that I had that looked like the bear reversal uh, i didn't expect at the time that uh, we will have this um, dead cat uh, uh, bounce after that and uh, it gives us the impression that this will keep going up but actually it will not be going up much more because tomorrow is another red candle day the 12th of march and today is the last day of Mercury being uh, in a higher speed. Although Mercury changed speed much earlier than that. But tomorrow it, it will be reducing the speed even more. So whatever it pumps to today, that is it. That will be the top. There is no more than this. We have two bullish days after today. Those will be... I mean remarkable bullish days. Those will be the 18th of March and the 20th of March. The 20th of March is the spring equinox. We associate always spring with greenery, growth, progress. And uh, because of those connotations, the spring equinox, uh, equinox always uh, tends to close on a green candle about uh, ab above 70% uh, of the time. Uh, so... For that reason, I expect the 20th of March will close on a green candle again and uh, it will make a good attempt to, to uh, push resistance higher. This is the percentage of the vernal equinox. Oh, actually it's only 70, it's only 60, 
62% closing on a green candle. It's actually quite uh, a much smaller percent than uh, I remembered. So anyway, this particular year I expect uh, Bitcoin to close on a green candle on the 20th of March because we have uh, a number of uh, bullish variables there. However, I really don't expect that this will be the top of all tops. Today is more bullish than uh, the 20th of March because uh, today Mercury is much faster. Mercury today is moving at 1 degree and 55 minutes and uh, actually today is 1 degree 54 minutes. It is reducing in speed by the way. It started reducing in speed from yesterday and uh, by the 20th of March Mercury will be on a speed uh, of uh, 0 degrees and 57 minutes which is almost half to what it is today so although it has a number of other bullish variables taking place and all of those um, spring uh, connotations that go with uh, the vernal equinox uh, I don't expect that it will have the power to uh, reach today's price. My final date for a clear and visible bear trend is the 22nd of March. I expect a red candle either on 21st or 22nd of March, which will kind of which will show that we're reaching a point of no return that uh, the price that we're having at the moment is now beyond reach. By the 22nd of March we will realize that. So this price at the moment today looks like it's going to be the top for this season. April is looking bearish and uh, May will be bullish. May will start going, heading up again towards uh, the resistance. And I expect that June will, uh, 7th of June will reach uh, another top. And from there on, Bitcoin heading downwards for the whole of the second half of 2024. And uh, the ultimate bull reversal I expect to take place on uh, in November 2024. What, what, what this is happening here, um, I know I'm probably the only bearish person for Bitcoin for this year in the world, uh, but I have a very good explanation for that. On the 22nd of January, Pluto stopped being the boss of the chart and Pluto is the planet which governs sustainability long term, things that are good for us or for the asset long term. So while Pluto was the boss of the chart until the 22nd of uh, January, Bitcoin was progressing on a clear bull trend in a very natural and organic way. So it will go a little bit up, then it will have a bit of a healthy retracement and even a correction and uh, then it will start going up again with small green candles which are the candles of sustainable progress. And that has been going on since September uh, and uh, since September is when Pluto became the boss of the chart when he entered the highest degree of occupancy out of all planets. So, uh, unfortunately, on the 23rd of January, Pluto left uh, that um, chief executive role amongst the planets and uh, he was superseded by Neptune. Uh, Neptune was the next planet that has the highest degrees of occupancy after Pluto. So, as soon as Pluto entered the zero degrees of Aquarius on the 22nd of January, Neptune took charge 
And Neptune is a, a very bad chief executive. He is chaotic. He is totally unreasonable and illogical. Uh, there is absolutely no explanation at the moment why this is happening. The only explanation that is circling around is the ETFs because uh, from a perspective of the halving it doesn't make that Bitcoin is pumping before the halving at all. That hasn't happened before for on the previous three halving events. So don't expect any logical explanations because from the 23rd of January Neptune became the boss of the chart occupying the highest degree of 27 degrees Pisces and for as long as Neptune is the boss of the chart we will have all of this chaos and confusion also Neptune is the planet of illusions and the planet of delusions so my uh, metaphor for what is happening right now with um, on the bitcoin market is uh, two teenagers they fall in love with each other and they uh, run away from their parents and they decide to get married and uh, they get married and they try to convince the whole world that their marriage is sustainable and their marriage will be a serious they will, they will do a serious relationship and a long lasting sustainable relationship that's my metaphor for this runaway. Literally, I can see that from the 23rd of, of January, exactly when Neptune became the boss of the chart, Bitcoin is running away. It's running away from its natural course and in these uh, big green candles, which normally indicate that uh, the bear reversal is around the corner. How long is this going to keep up with these grid candles? Not going to reach 100k, is it? Uh, it's happening. It will be. It will be reversing to bear by the end of today or tomorrow at the latest. I'm recording this video at 8 o'clock in the morning on the 11th of March UTC time, and by tomorrow we will actually be on a bear reversal, and we will have a nice uh, red candle of reality check on the 12th of March and after that as I said there will be pushes uh, on the 18th and 20th of March there will be pushes towards resistance they may reach today's levels uh, however that is less likely because uh, Nep uh, because Mercury will be very slow uh, much slower than it is today and that is a very serious uh, bear variable in uh, financial astrology uh, so this runaway of Bitcoin will continue in a very chaotic way. It's never. It's not going to be only bullish, by the way. So Neptune is the planet of inflation, but it's also the planet of delusions and confusion, of fake promises, fake promises, not real promises of sustainable growth, but fake promises and waking up one day with nothing as well. Neptune is the planet that um, helps people to win the lottery. All of that is Neptune ruled, that kind of easy money that happens fast uh, without much effort and it happens uh, just like a gift from God. At the moment, all of us who sell our Bitcoin is, is really like a gift from God uh, managing to sell. I'm, I'm selling. Uh, I know I moved my stop loss because uh, like everyone else I'm trying to get a little bit more money for it but I am actually selling today or tomorrow at the latest. So uh, this kind of gifting from God is not going to last forever. If we don't manage to sell now we will end up with nothing because Bitcoin is heading down it's heading down uh, very low. The higher it goes, the harder it will crash. All of this setup is created so they can set Bitcoin on a bear trend. And the second half of 2023 is a bear trend. Okay. Uh, what else did I want to say about Neptune? Neptune is the biggest bastard of all of the planets. Uh, for my 30 years experience in financial, in astrology, and then in financial astrology I have 6 years experience, I haven't seen a more nasty planet than Neptune. Because all other planets are, are geared up towards helping us. Uh, 
Pluto and Saturn are the two planets that are very cruel to us when we are on the wrong track in life. They, they are interested only in long-term sustainable progress. Anything that is not going to be good for us in the long term, Pluto destroys in a very dramatic and kind of uh, clumsy way, just with one heavy cut. Pluto severs everything that is bad for us in the long term. And from the 23rd of January, Pluto entered the very important degree of zero degrees Aquarius. And Pluto now is right at the end. All the planets now have crossed Pluto and they're all ahead of Pluto doing their thing. And Pluto is right at the end, very impotent and very uh, demoted. He's no, he's no longer now the boss of the chart. If I show you here what the chart looks like, you can see Pluto is right at the end. All of these planets are much further ahead of Pluto. So Pluto doesn't have any say and that is really dangerous. We're living in very dangerous times at the moment and the Bitcoin market is becoming increasingly more and more dangerous because it's interested from now on in long term uh, sustainable progress. It's interested only in, uh, in false hopes. And uh, Neptune being the boss of the chart, I can assure you it's very easy to end up with nothing with that guy. He is uh, the most misleading and confusing planet out of all the planets. And uh, he's definitely not to be trusted. Also, he's terribly disorganized and chaotic. He doesn't have any managerial skills. Any, he doesn't have any leadership skills. Neptune rules drugs and alcoholism and escapism. That's what we're experiencing now. What we're seeing now, one day we will think that today was a dream. And we will not believe that this was actually a reality. And this day is coming soon. This day will be coming in April. April will be dumping very hard. Although April is not going to be the bottom actually of 2024. April will be uh, uh, bottoming at around 39,800. And then October will be bottoming down uh, much lower. That again will be very confusing because everyone will think that April is the bottom and then after the halving on 22nd of April we are going up and then in October we're going to get a very heavy crash this year. And all of that confusion is thanks is uh, due to uh, Neptune being the boss of the chart for most of 2024. So... Uh, Take care everyone, I'm very bearish for Bitcoin and the more it's leaping higher, the more bearish I become and I expect the bear, bear reversal to take place tomorrow. And from there on, heading down all the way until end of April, 1st of May will mark the bull reversal but it will be only a temporary bull reversal until the 7th of June and from there on Bitcoin is heading down for the whole of 2024. I will update you again very soon. Bye for now.